Hello guys, welcome to the part 3 of the tutorial. So, previous video we already show, successfully show our map. And today with the video, we are going to pin our location and focus on that location. Uh, for that, I'm going to delete this map line because we wanted to we will actually create from the code behind so we give our stack layout a name I'm going to name as a container because it will be our container for map and go to code behind and code uh, on code behind so you create a new stack layout uh, and then you add child of our map so container dot children dot children dot add and then uh, this pairing uh, we will pass our map parameter in here but first we need to create a map so uh, we create first we create position so we wanted to focus on the position very easy just type position with capital P bring up the namespace don't forget and then name as position equal to new position and on this position we wanted to pass our longitude and latitude so we can get from our value here so we can get it from my value variable my value and then dot longitude and another one dot length uh, my value dot longitude and then we add the map span so we want to focus on this area so map span name as map span again so map span and pass the position and we also pass the degree of our position so 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 don't forget semicolon and map we create our map new map and pass the map span after we pass the map span we can add the map on our container so build your project and deploy to your emulator let's wait our emulator starting and click our our collection view so nothing is shown sure right now uh, all right okay I think Okay, we might need to delete this line because we we already given them for our scale layout. So, uh, what we what we should do actually, we just add the children. So we doesn't need a new scale layout. So remove this. And then you can save and play again. Deploy again on your emulator. And your map should be show right now. But I think we might need to change our longitude and longitude. So you can see here, our fake coordinate show just a C. So maybe we might need a new coordinate. So this is where I'm from. So you can see down here, it gave longitude and longitude let's go to our service and then replace the longitude and longitude value and your map should focus 
on this position. So deploy again. I'm going to put a breakpoint here so you can see what happened. So it hit the breakpoint so you can see we we'll, we we'll get the position from our my value longitude and longitude. Then you can see passing down to the max span. So all the value that we want one is there. And we when you click continue, so you create your map. So you can see all the parameter. And then you click continue and your map should focus on the position. So the next thing we need to do is we need to pin this location so user will know uh, or this is your our objective we wanted to pin the location so it's pretty simple straightforward so we create a pin and then we pass it to the map so pin name as pin new pin and then our pin value so position we can copy we can copy the the, the one that we already did and then remove semicolon we got semicolon and our labels we get from my value store name and then our address so this can be your address or for our situation we are going to put a description so this is our description and then uh, maybe we might need something else so let's see uh, okay we doesn't need type remove it and then remove remove this one and don't forget to put your semicolon and after that, you need to initialize the pin. So, your map and add the pin. So, my map dot pin. And then, add pin. And on the parameter, pass the pin. So, semicolon. And when you deploy your app, it should pin on the location. Okay, let's look and you can see right now we already have a location so you can see when I click on the pin you can see the title was let's look best and the description is uh, this one and then uh, on a new version of okay as you can uh, as you can see on our previous design we actually made a frame right, uh, right here and then we put an icon that can open a map so user can go to the location but on a current version of google map it's already implement so you doesn't actually need it but for the sake of our design i will show you how you can put a frame and then you can figure out how you can fulfill those frame so uh, all right, we let's show your your position. So my map dot showing user true. So when you play, you should see your location. Okay, right now you doesn't see your your location. It doesn't show your location. So, uh, what you need to do, it might be a permission problem. So, you can use Zamarin Essential to automatically ask for permission. Or uh, Right now, I'm just going to do it manually, which is I'm going to go to setting and enable it manually.
then go to permission and allow the location and then when you play again so I'm going to end and redeploy and then when I click so you should see your location and the pin location alright next is we I'm going to show you how you can put a frame so this is your location and the pin location and then let's let's create a frame so you can have an idea how you can overlap the map so go back to the map page and then uh, wrap the stack layout on the grid and then create a new stack layout below our container and here I'm going to horizontal option for center and span and then vertical um, I think I'm going to, I'm just going to put N and in the stack layout I'm going to create a frame so high request maybe 100 and then background color white padding I'm going to set uh, margin to 0 and padding to 0 same goes to stack layout padding 0 but margin I'm going to set to 10 let's try it out alright you we doesn't see anything it might be because we set the horizontal option to center and span uh, we change it to fill and span and it should wrap entire entire screen let's redeploy And as you can see, uh, you can see a white box now here. But we wanted to make our background color to transparent, so it doesn't, it will not interfere our map. So you already have the white frame down here, so you can put your design. And then you also have your map. Alright, so that's it. Uh, you can comment down below what you want next for the series. Because I have no idea right now. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share my video. We meet again next video.